Welcome to Personal Brand Playbook. Hi, my name is Bill Rice. I'm actually an agency owner. I own and operate Kaleidico, which is a lead generation agency. I like to do this on the side. Uh, it helps me keep my uh, internet marketing skills sharp and also allows me to give back to the community and, and folks like yourself and kind of show you some of these tactics. Um, as I introduce this just briefly, um, first and foremost, of course, I want to thank you for for signing up for this course and in your particular case you're the beta users um, if you're listening to this later uh, it may have turned into a, a paid course so um, always appreciative of any feedback that you can give um, as you go through this to just make the course better more valuable um, so I wanted to do this brief introduction just to kind of walk you through uh, the playbook itself how to use it how to implement it how to start to build your own personal brand but I also want to give you a little bit of the backstory to uh, do two things. One, kind of show you where some of this information came from and where, honestly, I learned a lot of it uh, to put into this playbook, but also give you a sense of how this works, because I'm going to actually show you an example of this sort of in action, and it became sort of the genesis of this particular course. So let's start with the backstory first. Um, so this was just a, a few weeks ago, again, depending on when you're watching this video or when you've actually signed up for the course. Um, I had put together this thread and really the intention of the, the thread kind of came back. I almost actually didn't publish it. Um, I had been watching uh, these individuals closely because uh, I was interested in, in building out and sort of resurging my own personal brand uh, in the niches that I operate. So I started to sort of closely watch these folks because I noticed they were doing something exceptional and they were quickly building their audience um, and they seemed to have um, incredible engagement and sort of distribution whenever they posted something. So, uh, like I said, I started watching them. Uh, I started doing my own sort of curation of their tips and re-engineering and, and understanding sort of what they were doing. Um, and then as a digital marketer, I was able to kind of um, peek behind the curtains or sort of figure out behind the curtains what they were doing and why they were doing certain things. So I put together this thread um, to really describe and sort of share that back out. And like I said, I almost didn't publish it. Um, because I wasn't sure how valuable it would be because essentially I was curating a lot of the things that I had learned from them. Um, but this was one of the most popular um, threads that I published in this particular month. Uh, and it sort of took off uh, for a couple of reasons. And again, we'll talk about this in personal branding. But one, it was, of course, valuable. I had broken down these steps and sort of refined them uh, into step by step. And then I had pulled... Uh, forward some of their personal examples uh, that gave it credibility because they were doing it. It was their information and I just kind of ordered it, refined it, curated to sort of a classic curation. Um, but again, it put it in a place and Twitter's kind of a fragmented place anyway, uh, sort of put it in a place and in, in a way that was very actionable and executable for somebody that was trying to figure out how to do this. And like I said, um, kind of went crazy. Uh, like I said, the whole reason for this uh, initially was I wanted to kind of rejuvenate my audience. So I have a decent number of Twitter followers. Uh, I used to have a lot more, but it sort of neglected the channel. Um, but since I've been applying this and doing this very intentionally, what I'm getting ready to share with you in the playbook, uh, you can see had some pretty dramatic in results. So um, that's what's inside of this playbook. So let's kind of break down what you'll be getting uh, when you uh, access the playbook. So a couple things that are really important is once you get it, uh, go ahead and bookmark it. Uh, I didn't make this a duplicate when I do Notion templates, uh, which would be interesting. That could be some feedback if you want my actual template um, of, you know, how I run my personal brand uh, engagement and activity. Um, that would be a template and then I create a duplicate or they allow you to duplicate it into your Notion. Uh, but in this particular case, it doesn't make sense necessarily to do that. Um, so anyway, bookmark that link. Uh, this is the most important. Again, in this initial run, uh, if you're in the beta group, uh, you're getting it for free. So I would love for you to give me feedback to give me a sense of one, uh, should this be a paid offering? And two, uh, if it was, how could I potentially make it more valuable? What could I add to it? Um, the other thing, uh, I do use these, these toggle tabs just to kind of keep things clean. Uh, but keep in mind when you see that, and I usually kind of try to highlight them in orange, there's usually something kind of uh, sitting underneath that. So I encourage you to, to get in there. Um, and then I have basically these, these sections. Um, you know, want to really define and, and really break the mindset around what a brand is, because a lot of times we hold up our can of Coke or uh, we look at our Nike shoes and we think that's what we have to become. But actually a personal brand can be far more simple 
uh, than that. Then we're going to talk about the platform. People have lots of questions about, okay, how do I get this stuff up and running and actually sort of out into the world? And you do need a few things uh, to be that platform, right, where you can publish, where you can get some distribution. Um, and so I highlight some different options here, um, and specifically sort of the, the platforms I use are highlighted in there as well. Um, this is kind of interwoven with the tech stack itself. So you'll need some technology in order to kind of put all this stuff together and get the components sort of firing on all cylinders. Um, but this tech stack, um, and this is why I kind of have done this on the side all by myself without using my agency is because I wanted to sort of find a system that didn't require any technical expertise, didn't require any design expertise. Um, and that's what's inside of this tech stack. And you'll see the, the folks that, um, that I use some examples from, they're using similar things. Um, and then I pulled forward some of those examples because again, um, these folks are, are really uh, far better than I am uh, at this. So I wanted to make sure that you have some of their advice in here, most of which I've refined, I've turned into my own system and I'm kind of executing um, at your level in the sense that I'm kind of starting from scratch again. I have a little bit of an audience already, so that, that does help me a little bit. But I'm trying to take some of their information, refine it down and, and, and try it and see how it works for a brand new person. Um, give you a little insight into some of my personal template and how I manage uh, the content production in the editorial process. And then this is this is kind of the gold of, of everything in the personal playbook. And this is the concept of a lead magnet. And what this does is it, it puts something that's very desirable out into the marketplace. Um, and folks just crowd around that, of course, because it is valuable. Um, and this is a mechanism to sort of quickly grow your audience. But it does take a little technique, um, take some uh, you know, understanding of, of what exactly the lead magnet is, what potentially is valuable to your audience. And then, of course, how to wire the elements together so that you actually capture that audience into something like your list. Um, and again, uh, I leverage kind of one of the best. Uh, Blake Amal is um, fabulous at this. And so I've got some of his live examples, um, which you can use as templates in creating your own lead magnets. Um, and then ultimately, there are a couple other sort of goodies at the bottom, um, trying to make it easier for you to kind of understand, again, sort of the stack, because that's where most of the questions I see on Twitter and other folks is like, what do you use? What's the right software? Um, and people get stuck in that. Instead of creating the content that actually makes the engine go, they get stuck around this. So I try to make it super easy so you can get that stuff set up um, and forgotten about so you can focus on the, the true um, activities and content that actually make this thing work. And then um, would love for you to join my newsletter. Uh, I'm starting to restructure this a little bit, so you'll be a, a part of that. Um, currently, it's uh, entirely free. Every Saturday, you get like kind of a 90 second worth of, uh, of tips. So it's really a quick read on some ideas like you'll find inside of here. Um, I think what I'm gonna change it into, and you can kind of get on that list and, and watch it as it evolves, um, is kind of a, a paid community where you get all of this stuff like you did today for free. And so if you're inside of that paid community, uh, you get each new course free. Um, anyway, trying to play with some different ways to, to give value back to that community. And then we're also talking about putting together a Slack channel. Um, so all you uh, savvy marketers and learning marketers uh, can kind of work together to, to help lift each other up. And then of course, I'm happy to answer any questions. If you do email me, uh, try to make the question you know very uh, singular and pointed and specific. Otherwise, it's really hard to answer general questions. I get stuck and I want to tell you too much and then ultimately I don't put it together. So give me one little question, one, one specific point that's getting you stuck uh, and then I'll be happy to answer all of those. So um, hope this is valuable. Again, uh, don't forget this feedback link. I would love for you to give a little bit of feedback on this course. So enjoy and uh, tell me how I can make it better. Thanks so much again for grabbing this course and being a part of this community.